a YouTube Navy 98. So happy new year to you. This is my first video of 2023. Um, I didn't order a ton of Millsurps last year just due to budgetary reasons and some of the ones that I did order were fairly, ex fairly expensive. Um, so my tally for the year was not that big uh, compared to what I normally do. Uh, but one of my purchases at the end of the year, which I didn't get a chance to do a video on, was one of these uh, number one Mark III drill purpose rifles that you know a bunch of vendors have been selling over the years. Uh, Sentry Arms, JG Sales, um, Center Fire Systems, uh, a lot of those. And a lot of YouTubers have done videos on cleaning these up. Obviously, they're just drill purpose. They've got a a rod drilled through the barrel there, so they're not safe to shoot, uh, including just the parts were for, made for drill only. And uh, kind of resisted buying one of these. It, it is a fun little project to do and just to have as a wall hanger. And also, if you need parts for uh, a number one Mark III, it's a great source of parts. And, and it's just a cool piece of history in general. But I've resisted, I resisted buying them, and then I noticed at the end of the year, and they still do have them, Sentry Arms listed a new batch of these drill purpose SMLEs. However, they come with the grenade cup that attaches to the end of the SMLE. These are World War I uh, grenade launching systems that launch the Mills bomb. They attach to the end of the SMLE. Uh, they're British property marked, and these typically go for between 95 all the way up to $175, depending on where you look for them online. And it's always a, a cool little piece of kit that I, I wanted to get. Uh, if you've seen my series of videos on the German World War II rifle grenade launchers, uh, you know I'm kind of interested in these cool little accessories that go with the rifles. So I've always wanted to get one of these grenade cup launchers for the SMLE, but that price range was kind of out of uh, what I wanted to pay for it. However, Century Arms, as I mentioned, is listing these SMLEs with the grenade cup for $85. So, I mean, just this alone, like I said, is uh, upwards of $175, depending on where you buy it at. So that to me, that was a bargain. It's kind of hard to pass up. You got a cool project out of it, uh, as well as getting this uh, for less than the cost of you know both of them together, really. Um, so Century Arms lists these as incomplete, which this one is. It's uh, they list them as probably missing the the hand guards up top, which this one has half a hand guard, and then it's missing the rest of this piece, and then the rear hand guard piece. Um, missing a magazine, and then they say could be missing other parts like sling swivels, butt plates, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But as far as I can see, just unboxing this, it's full of cosmoline right now, so I'm not really going to handle it that much. Uh, mine is just missing this handguard, which, again, I'll just use this as a cool little project gun. I'll get it all fixed up and cleaned up and do a video on that, and then show you a video on how this works. Uh, I'm trying to get a, an inert uh, version of the Mills bomb, or at least a replica of it. To show you how that would work but uh really cool deal on it right now like i said a century 85 bucks that's so you have to have a federal firearms license to buy from century arms directly and somebody asked me in my recent ask me anything video like pros and cons of the cnr license and, and that is one of them if you have a cnr license you can buy directly from century arms you can register your license with them um, you'll get a discount on it as well uh, and get cool stuff like this. Uh, and then there are tons of other uh, firearms vendors online that if you register your FFL with them will also give you a, a discount. I think Brownells does that. Um, Old Western Scrounger does that. Uh, a bunch of them. So another reason to go out and get a CNR license if you don't have one. I mean, it's, it's super cheap. I think it's 35 bucks for three years. So it's a no-brainer to have CNR rifles shipped directly to your door plus get the discounts, plus get to purchase from companies like Century Arms, which sells them directly to FFL holders. So as I mentioned, a uh, cool little piece of history here. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. I'll do a separate video on it. Uh, the packaging was a little suspect. <laughs> it, it looked like the rifle may, could have been broken in half just looking at the package uh, from Century Arms, but I opened it up and there was no issues at all. 
Um, and they actually mailed this in a separate package that was actually better packed than the rifle itself. But just wanted to throw that out uh, to you guys who are available or who are able to buy from Century. You might take a look at that if you're interested in something like this to add to your collection. Till next time, this is Navy 98 saying, Go Navy.